Hey guys, welcome. This video, I wanted to talk about the whole concept of passing by value or by reference. So stay tuned. Hopefully you can learn a lot from this video. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. Now, I literally hate this topic because I don't really feel like there's an agreed upon naming convention for what anything is when it comes to references and pointers and value versus reference and so forth. So, by the books, Java is said to be passed by value. And what that means is if we pass some argument to a method, it passes the value and the value is copied into the parameter. But the gotcha here is that if we're working with an object, the value passed in is the location of memory. So it's still changeable in the method. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to create an example method, try to change things and see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up our code from the previous video a little bit. If you're following along, all you gotta do is just get rid of this right here. So we have two user objects and we have a list of users, which we'll probably be working with throughout this video series. So now what I want to do is I actually want to create a static method on the user class and just work with it. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here, put it right here. We'll just say public void change crap and we'll take an integer and then we'll just say X plus plus and notice that it's void. So we're not returning the value. We're trying to just change the value and see what happens. Now from the caller, here's what I want to do. User dot change crap pass in some variable so we'll say int y is equal to four pass in y and then sys out y after the method call run this and we get the value four so you can see that increment did not affect this variable but now i want to do a little bit something different here i want to make change crap take a user so it's going to be user x and what we're going to do is we're going to say x first name we're gonna set it actually. So set first name and pass in changed. Now from the caller, I want to pass in you like so. And in the output here, I just want to pass in you. Running this, you can see that your first name is now changed. So the changes made inside the method persisted outside of the method when we are working with a custom object. So hopefully that cleared things up. Just be careful when you're passing objects or returning objects to not modify them in the wrong spot. So be really, really careful. If you need to be really sure, you can always just create a new object and then it's not going to do anything wrong. So for example, X is equal to new user. Now when we set that first name, it's not going to be seen on the outside. So executing this, you can see you remain not, which is your first name right here. Awesome, thank you guys for watching. In the next video, we're going to be talking about inheritance. And if you want another good resource on this topic, because I'm not good at explaining anything, there's a good Stack Overflow answer, and it is right here. Boom, right here. Is Java past my reference or past my value? And you can read exactly what I was saying right here about the confusion. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.